Perfect. So we only wasted one phone doing that trade. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, three hours left. Now, who can we trade away still? It's the older guys. Nick Lidstrom's got to go. Uh, Thornton Sting. Blair Betts can go, even though his trade value is not. Yeah, I'll hold on to Blair Betts. I'm looking at the guys who have good trade value still. Brian Allen. Uh, he, he can stay on our team still. Well, oh, excuse me. He's only 32 years old. Uh, Chris Kelly's staying on our team. Moss could stay on our team. McClemens staying. Mitchell staying. Uh, Bergforce could be traded. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trading away Bergforce. So I'll just put him to the deal. And I'll put Lidstrom in there as well. There you go. Now, I got to find a playoff team that's low enough, like in 7th or 6th or 8th spot, that I can get a good first overall pick and some prospects. Because we can get a lot here for Lidstrom. All right, so... Actually, the Anaheim Ducks, yeah, hang on a sec. Uh, where are they? Yes, they're in the playoff hunt, and they're, ooh, they're in sixth spot. So that's actually a perfect team. So let me add their their first overall pick. Okay. Actually, no, let me add these two first overall picks. Just to, just to start. They have an Islander, so if I could pick up these two for Lidstrom, Lidstrom has that covered. Um, now, let's see if they have any young guns on this team. Uh, ooh, look at all these. They have four guys under the age of 20. All right, let me check these guys out. Hang on a sec. 21, Cam Fowler. He's way too much trade value. Uh, Paul Mieri, no, we know, we know what he's about. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so these four guys at the top. Let's see what they're all about. Rupert, he's a center. Uh, center playmaker, 18 years old. A for the offensive category. All right, so he's automatically a good playmaker. Just because I'm not just thinking about players that could play on our team. I'm thinking about trade assets in the future as well. All right, so Rupert could fit in there. Uh, Raquel, right winger. Let's see what this guy's all about. Right wing playmaker, BB. Same thing. All right, Raquel can go in there. Absolutely. Oh, man, Anaheim has some, some nice players down here. Uh, Fenske. Let's see how good this Fenske guy is. Uh, defensive defenseman, BB. Another good guy. Uh, what about this uh, Franco guy? Let me see. Uh, left wing playmaker, ooh, but he has a B minus for offense. He's a good defensive category, but as a playmaker, offensive category has to be the strongest. So I'll say no to Franco and yes to Fenske, and that'll go through. They say it's go, it'll go through right there. So two firsts and three prospects for Bergforce and Lidstrom. Now, I don't think this will go through. I could try it because we've saved some phones with that first trade. It went went through very quickly. Let me just see if there's anyone else I could add back to this trade. Hang on a sec. Uh, oh, wait. I don't think I could add. Let me just add this Johnson guy. No, I can't add any more uh, players back. It's too many players under contract. Um, all right. So let me just add some draft picks in here just to sweeten the deal. All right. Two sevenths and a sixth. Now, if this doesn't go through, I'm going to take one of the draft picks out and I'll try the four or the uh, three prospects again. All right. Because the trade values of the first round picks are actually not as high as these. So if this goes through, this is a damn steal. I don't think it'll go through, but let's see. Will it go through? No. We are not interested in giving up the services of Ryan Rupert. So it wasn't even, uh, they're, not, they're not even pissed off about that. So that's actually pretty close to going through. All right, so that's actually not bad. All right, Anaheim's coming back at me. What do they want? Brian Lee and Tokarski for a first. George Peros and Pelly, Rod Pelly. Let's see this. Rod Pelly, grinder, 28 years old. He's not a bad grinder. It really is just the uh, the first overall pick for Brian Lee and Tokarski. Brian Lee is an 81 overall two-way defenseman. He's lost. Oof. Damn, that's actually a pretty good trade. And Tokarski, I know he's a B-, B-, B- goalie. But for a first overall pick, I like that. Yeah, there's our timer. I like that. I do. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this right now because it's the first overall pick. Yeah, I don't mind giving up Lee and Tukarski. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Even though it'll waste the phone, I'm gonna do it. Absolutely. Boom. Yep. On behalf of the Anaheim Ducks, I thank you for your timely and favorable response. No problem there, Anaheim. Thank you for the first overall pick. Uh, AHL best lines. All right. Two hours remaining. All right. So there's another good trade uh, coming in from the Minnesota Wild now. Uh, ooh. They want two, two first-round picks for their first round in next year. No, I'm going to say no to that. I don't need to waste any two, two, uh, two second-round picks for a first. No, I don't need to do that. Especially Minnesota. Look, yeah, Minnesota is first in the West. I don't need to do that. All right. So let's go back to Anaheim now. And let's try to take that first from the island. 
Uh, yeah, let's try to take the first from the island. And let's try to add all these guys up again. Uh, Rupert, Fenske, uh, Raquel. I'm not going to add Franco because I didn't like his uh, offensive potential and... His, uh, his trade value is somewhat good, so he's only making the trade not go through. So I don't want that to go. I don't want that to stop it, basically. Prevent it. So defenseman, uh, Lidstrom. All right. Then Bergforce. Very nice. Actually, now that we, uh, we gave up that other first, we can add in... Wait, 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 wait. Let me think here. No, 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 no. I don't need to do that because it'll definitely go through. They It almost went through last time. So I'm going to add in the second for this year as well for Anaheim. All right. Because it almost went through with the two firsts last time. And this time I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up my third for this year, boys. All right. Because we're getting a first and a second back. All right. So we'll add the third in there. Um, go down here to these years. I've already given up. I've given it up for that year. I'm going to give up the third in the year down here as well. All right, two thirds and uh, a fifth. Yeah, a fifth. All right, so Nicholas Lidstrom, Bergforce, two thirds and a fifth for a first and a second and three prospects. Okay, it almost went through last time with Lidstrom, Bergforce, uh, two sevenths and a sixth. And there was a first round pat at draft pick instead of the second. So I really think this will go through. Will it go through? Yes, it did. If I oh man, that was a good trade. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We just robbed Anaheim. All right. I mean, Anaheim's getting a good player back in Lindstrom and Bergforce. Man, that was a great uh, sign just for the trade asset. There you go. I think we're done now. I think we're done. Uh, best lines. Yep. One hour remaining, so we only have one phone left, anyways. Uh, answer, and it's coming from the Toronto Maple Leafs. David Perron for two first-round picks. Ooh, that's actually that's actually not a bad offer from the Toronto Maple Leafs. But you know what? I'm going to say no to that. Uh, we already stacked up on some good draft picks. Toronto Maple Leafs are actually a playoff team this year, and David Perron is part of our future. So I want to hold on to that. It's a good trade offer from the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't know what it is about Brian Burke giving up uh, two first-round picks for wingers, man. He just loves doing it. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. It's a good trade, but we already have enough, and David Perron is part of our future. So I'm not going to do it, all right? Not going to do it. Now, is there anyone else on our team that we can trade away? Who had, I mean, there's players that we can trade away, but anyone else with good trade value that we can trade away? Betts, Kelly, no. Allen, I'd rather hold on to Allen till next year. LeCavalier, Moss, McClement, Pelly. Uh, and no, everyone else is young. So everyone else, we still, we're going to keep Bernier, Lindbeck, Subban. We're going to keep Garon just because his trade value is nothing special. We won't get anything back from him anyways. Yep, we're done the trade deadline, boys. So there you go. We acquired three. Let me just show you. We acquired three first-round draft picks. All right, look at this. One, two, three, and we have R. So now, for this year, we have four first-round draft picks. So we can move up a lot in this year's draft. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm glad we were sellers, boys. I'm glad we were sellers. And hell, hell we can still make the playoffs. It's possible. We still have some team. We just we dropped some players like Doan, Solani, and Lidstrom. Not saying it's going to be any easier now, but the possibility is still there. We still have a Stamkos. We still have a St. Uh, not a St. Louis. We still have a uh, LeCavalier, a Thornton. All right. So there you go, boys. There's the trade deadline. What do you think? Some good trades, some bad trades. We picked up some prospects, defensive prospects, offensive prospects, goalie prospects, three first-round picks, and we only gave up players that we knew were not going to be part of our team next year. All right, we did not sacrifice the future for the present, and we can still make the playoffs. So let me know, boys, how did GM Superman do in this, in this year's trade deadline?